Okay, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. So, let's get the last star in the uh, wet dry world. We're gonna go to town for red coins. The abandoned town of the wet dry world. What is the backstory behind the wet dry world? Why? What was this uh, ancient, what was this civilization? They figured out how to raise and lower their water levels. However, the town is now abandoned, so we can assume something bad happened to them. What it was, I have no idea. But look, they left all the red coins in their abandoned city area, and we're here to collect them for Power Star because. The painting in Peach's castle took us out here, and what the heck? Nothing makes sense in the Mario universe. I'm trying to make sense of it, and it's... It's not... I guess it's not something I should be doing, because... It really doesn't make any sense. What does the switch do? Okay, I have no idea what that switch did. Okay, let's try to find the red coins now. They're all in this small area, which is helpful, that's for sure. We don't have to go all over the place for them. So here's one. And they're usually in this in these boxes. When I say usually, I mean if you see a box down here, punch it and you'll probably find a red coin. Let's see if we find a box that doesn't have a red coin in it. So far, um, three for three. Okay, how do we get up here? Part of the challenge of this is actually figuring out how to get up here because you can't raise the water level because then you can't punch the boxes. So that's already four. Four of them in a box. There's another box right there. There's probably another one in here. So, yep. They're not all in boxes, though. It's... Oh, just at least the first six are anyway, because yet... Look, here's another box. Here's another coin. There's one up here, I think, that's not in a box. I didn't want to get that. I don't want the vantage cap. I want to be able to climb up on this. What is this? A church? It doesn't matter. There's a red coin. Oh, and look, a box. So, seven of the red coins were in boxes. It's basically just... Hey, here's a box. Punch me. Get a red coin. No strings attached. Except you might get a star. Which is, uh... Which is pretty good, because that's what we want. Okay, let's collect it then, and we're done with the wet dry world. Here we go! So, let's get out of here. Save and continue, we are off to Tall Tall Mountain. It's just like the bomb battlefield, you, you have to scale the mountain. It even has the same music. Except, uh, I'm pretty sure the, the bomb battlefield didn't have... Didn't have, uh, this big of a mountain. Hey look, red coins. And take a look, they're all just right here. Isn't that nice? Uh, I wonder if I should collect them all right now. I might as well, because I'm right here. But then I remember I have to get the 100 coins, and I'll worry about that later. Let's just try and get the 8 reds. There's 4 of them on the mushroom, and there's 4 of them up here. Once again, a nice, easy... Surprisingly easy, especially after all the maze-like levels we've been doing lately. Like the hazy maze cave. Okay, there's our first star already. This is, uh... It's going nice and quick. That's, a, that's what I like to see. Is that the mushroom I could go to? Oh, bombs. I'll deal with you guys later. Whoa, what was that? No matter, we got the star. Scary shrooms. Red coins. 
Save and continue. We're at 90 stars. This is a very small painting. Just get in there. Let's scale the mountain. For reals this time. Ah, uh, don't do that, please. Thank you. Okay, there's two ways to scale the mountain. There's the long way, and there's the shortcut way. Uh, I can do both. I might as well take the long way first and do the shortcut second. Anyway, the it's not even a shortcut. You just go up there. It's just out of it's just in plain sight. It's not a shortcut at all. This is just a long way. Although you do need to go over here for some reason, and that's to talk to this guy. I forgot you existed. Get up here. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. You need that cannon to get a star. I think it's only one star. But it's a star nonetheless, and we need those, so where the how do you get out of here? The camera's not moving at all. Quit over alright, let's see, let's just do this. No, it doesn't work. Let's do it again. No, it still doesn't work. Let's just go down. Is this the beginning of the level? Yeah, it is, unfortunately. So let's just go back up the mountainside. This is one of the few levels that uh, Mario can actually lose his hat in. I'm not going to be doing that, but... Unless it happens by accident, then everyone can laugh at my misfortune. Get out of the way, bombs, and there's a Chucky. He has no chance of grabbing me. Anyway, we go up here. There's a monkey. He might steal your hat, he might not. I'm not too sure about it. Here's a log, like the one in the Lethal Lava Land, except this one doesn't lead to the star. This one just leads to... Well, over here, and a sign, I guess, which says... Oh, high winds ahead. Pull your cap down tight. If it blows off, you'll have to find it on the mountain, and that's not fun. Although I think that monkey has it. So anyway, let's just continue. Yeah, you see, I just could have just went up here in the first place, and that's what I'm going to do next time. There's no reason for me to take the long way. Okay, so moving on. Stomp on the Goombas because that's fun. There's a star up there. There's a cloud enemy, which I think is called a. Damn it, what was it called? A foosh or something. Very interesting enemy. He just blows you away. Not too hard, except he also takes away your cap. You blow your cap away. And was that the only point of that box? Okay, there's a star in there. Oh wait, there's the other point of the box. You're supposed to use that box so you can get to that star easily. I did not know that. I just jumped in there. It seemed to work out fine for me. Anyway, because I fell off, we're gonna have to go back up and do it again. I want to take my time here. Falling off. Falling off the mountain at this point would not be very good. Anyway, you go up here, and I think it's just, yeah, there's a star right in the open. It's one of those open stars, open 24-7, ready to serve you if you can find it. Scale the mountain. Let's scale the mountain again for that other star. And scale the mountain one more time. This game has you scaling that thing a lot. Just for the same star. One you get, it's just up there. One you get, it's up there, but you need to use that switch to get it, except you don't because you can get it without the switch. And another one is in the same spot, basically. You just have to catch a monkey. And we're gonna find out, or we're gonna take a look at that right now because I'm on my way. So let's uh, long jump stomp a Goomba or not. That's fun to do, by the way. But only if it looks, only if it works out, because if you miss it, you look like a fool. Okay, there's a shortcut you can do, and there's the monkey. He's, I don't think he's hard to grab. 
Although you don't want to dive off the mountain. That would be terrible. Anyway, he's like, ow, woo, woo, let me go, Uki. I was only teasing, can't you take a joke? I'll tell you what, let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. So you free him, and he's gonna give us a star. Because we don't have enough of those, literally, because we need a couple more. 120 in all, we're at 91, this is gonna be 92, so there's a star in that cage. He's like, yeah, he mumbles about some random crap. And he can get the star now, and there it is. Do I want to get that star, or do I want to try and get this star? Let me... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the box to do that. I think you have to double jump and then just kick your way inside. But the switch also works. So, we might have time to do that last star. Unless the game wants us to do something different. Mysterious Mountainside. Mysterious Mountainside, huh? If I didn't know better, I'd say that was... Mystery. But it's a miss. It's something we can do. I don't know if I'm going to go for that star first. I might uh, do that one at the beginning of next episode. Right now, I'm just gonna get the star that's in the into that area, and I can give you a small glimpse of mysterious mountainside as well. Um, where is it? It's right here. Here is the mountain. It vibrates. It is mysterious. That's all I'm going to say about that. And did I miss the shortcut? It doesn't matter because the switch is right here. So, let's get out of the way right there. Try to not die while we do this. Yeah, the block actually helps me. Wait a minute, we have a few minutes left. Let's go back inside. Check out that mysterious mountainside. For star number four. Hey, get over here. Here's another random star. Right here. There's a mushroom right there. Getting it is... Getting it involves the use of a cannon. That's the only time the cannon is useful, as far as I can tell, in this level. What the hell am I doing? Well, I'm wasting time, that's for sure. So let's... Let's go straight into the, uh, mysterious mountainside, because it's a picture. It reminds me of the, uh, entrance to Shifting Sandland. Although there's no desert in here, it's actually... Wait for it... A slide! You actually need to go in here to get, uh... The hundred coins, and you want to get these first. Because if you get your hundredth coin on the slide, it's very annoying to go try and collect it. I think if you re-enter the slide, the star disappears. So that's... that just sucks right there. And the game tries to screw you with a dead end over there, it's not fun. And then it pulls like this F-Zero type of stuff right here. And I don't know. It's not too hard. I'm not trying to collect very many coins because... I'm going to go for the 100 star... 100 coin challenge next time. And that will be next time. We are going to do a couple things. We're going to get the last star in the level. We're going to get the 100 coins. And then we're going to start level 13, which is the tiny huge island. And, well, so much for the easy levels. This is the last easy level of the game. Tiny Huge Island isn't that bad either, but it's starting to spike up in difficulty. So, 
I'll see you next time.